such tragic stories, aren't they? For sure. Murat, the boy, what an intelligent, vivacious child he is. But he can't take everything that he's been through. He was sitting there alone, thinking, while his friends were playing games. He was just so sad. He was more like an adult than a boy, you know? The game of life's greatest loss. It can take away our childhood. You're right. Without our childhood, there's not much left to enjoy, actually. That Riza, who did he shoot? You said you wouldn't be filing a complaint. Someone close to you? He is. I made a list of So, what'd you do about the partnership? Contacted a prospect. We'll see. And if it doesn't work out, I'll have to give up. Don't be so pessimistic. Such is life. You don't know what opportunities tomorrow will bring. You're right. We'll see. Here's to life. Care for another? No, thank you. Yes, hello, Hunt. Lunch, my dear? Okay. Where are you? I'll pick you up. Okay. Be there half an hour. Not me. She wants to have lunch outside. I'm so happy you solved your problem. Forgive me. To be continued. Totally okay. Love is more important than anything. <laughs> so she. Come on, let's go. Hey, How can her. she walk around here? She is shameless. No way! I don't shop in places where people like her like to shop. Jamil, can I... Samil, nothing! Don't ever come in here again! Go do your shopping somewhere else! Just shameless. How dare you think you can walk around here? Come on, dear. So, honey, what did you want to talk to me about? We were talking with Hakan today, and he said that... Said what? Well, he wanted to have dinner together. Sounds good to me. Buddy wanted Sebnem to join us. You said... I said okay. But honey, are you freaking kidding me? Didn't you tell me you didn't want Sebnem around? Well, yeah, I don't want that. But Hakan insisted so much. Why is that, you think? Well, he likes her a lot, and he can't ask her out, so he's just using us to see her. Yeah, so? He can still talk to her. Without our help. <sighs> Look, I don't like it either. I, I told him I don't like her, but the thing is, I just couldn't say no to him. Honey, you are aware of what you're asking. Yeah, it's weird, but Hakan is my best friend, and I 
I couldn't say no. So we don't have anything else to do but play matchmaker to them? We won't have to do anything. We'll, we'll just create an opportunity for them to spend time together, that's all. Or is it that you don't want them to get together, huh? No, why? Why wouldn't I? In fact, all I am thinking about is how I can help them get together. Cut it out. <laughs> okay, okay. Are you going to dinner then? Of course we are. <laughs> hmm. What the hell are you doing here, huh? You get bored of Fayaz too? Now you go and get the hell out of here, you good for nothing! The sky's going to fall because of you. Get bored of Fayaz, now it's our turn. If you want that much, come and get you it. You disgraced us. We can't let our children out because of you. You brought nothing but shame and dishonor to our community. Shame on you, you tramp! We don't want to see you around here ever again. What happened? Why didn't I die? Why? 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 <laughs> Why hasn't she come back yet? I have no idea. I am dying here from nerves, and you're eating sunflower seeds. I'm nervous too, you know. They help me relax. Look at me. Let's hope that the midwife called her for another reason. You know that if Mother finds out that we were trying to make Nagme lose her baby, she will definitely kick us out of here. Are you freaking serious? Think she'll throw us out? You idiot. I hope she won't kill us. We can run away from here if you want. It'll be hard at first, but in time we can pull ourselves together, all right? How's that sound? Where would we go? Somewhere where no one knows us. And us, Fayez? What'll happen to us? What do you mean? We have a history, Fayez. I'll always remember everything when I look at you. Did you think I'd forget about all of this when I finally leave here? You threw me away like trash. And nothing will ever change this. Nothing. Now tell me, what is so important you need to discuss? Look at me. Thanks so much. Not a problem. Hello, good afternoon. Good afternoon to you, Faz. So look, I'm looking for a job. Is there There's any... nothing here for you, Faz. And there's nothing for you anywhere else. You too, huh, Kamal? I'm sorry, Faz. 
Whole town's talking about what you did. If I hire you, no one will buy anything from here. Hey, Natch me. You need someone tall? I'm the right guy for the job. Nothing here for you, Feyas. Suleiman, let me get some tea. Faya, sorry, I can't, man. Yeah, okay, I get him. Oh. Mother, where have you been? We were very worried. Why did you get worried? I'm a grown-up. What could happen? You were never this late. So we both got very Everything worried. Everything is fine. Uh, what is this? An interrogation? Come she is on. right, Guzel. Come Leave on. her alone for a second. Mother, come sit down. Uh, Give her a cup. Yes, drink some uh, water. Uh... Ooh. So, did you meet with the midwife? How do you know this? Uh, well, you know, I was, uh, I, I heard you when you were talking on the phone by mistake. What did she say? Did she say something? You butt out. You both are like a nightmare at this hour of night. Come on, get inside, go on. I need to talk to Tayar a second. Tayar! Leave us alone. Come on. Okay, then. She doesn't know about us. Otherwise, she would have killed us for sure. Tayar. Have you any idea what your wife did? About what? She went to Suela and asked something. Something about Lale's parents. <sighs> What did you do? About what? You went to Suhela and asked questions. Who told you I did that? Well, it doesn't matter who told me about that, does it? Tayar. Tayar, you still don't get it. They are hiding something. What if they had some... Hatis, don't dig yourself deeper. Leave this matter alone. If they take Lale away someday, don't say I didn't warn you. You idiot. Welcome, you guys. What's up? How goes it? How's everything? I'm good. How about you? All good. 
How nice to see you guys happy like this. I created quite the misunderstanding. We've been through it, haven't we? Fortunately, it's solved. Still, I'm sorry for everything. Forget it. Water under the bridge, we're good. All right, cool. Hello, everyone. Well, hey there. Hey there, hello. Hello to you. Hello there. Yes, hello. Hi. <sighs> I'm starving to death. Did you order anything? Not a thing. We waited for you. I got so tied up with things today, I didn't get the chance to eat yet. Then come on, let's order something. Let's do it. Thank you so much. Where have you been? Looking for work. You find anything? This is yours until you do. Where did you find this much money? My mother gave it. I have my own, thank you. Fayaz, don't be so stubborn. That's not my style. I won't. Fayaz, just take the money. Okay, but I'll pay you back. As soon as I find a job. I'll go get it. Where is she? Where is that shameless What's woman? What's going on? Is she in there? Answer me, boy. Is she in there? Yes, she's in there. I can't believe it. Shame on you. You're saying she's inside like it's nothing. Listen, you are throwing her out right now. Now or I will. Dad, don't. And don't ever talk about Elvan that way. Oh, really? You're going to argue with me? Elvan is staying here with me, you hear me? Get out of my way or I will show you who's who. Dad, don't push me. I don't want to disrespect you. Shame on you, boy. You don't deserve a single thing we've done for you. Come on, let's get out of here. I wish I'd given birth to a rock instead of you for letting this happen. Oh, Elvon, oh, you ruined my son. I hope the skies fall down on you, girl. <laughs> Elvon. Feeling full is the best. And you? Did you like the food? I thought it was great. What about you? Yeah, it's delicious, yeah. <sighs> Sebnem, come on, tell us. What are you up to? Nothing different, actually. Village tours, meeting with women, etc. What kind of meetings? I'm running a social responsibility project aiming to introduce village women into the business life. Are you serious? Well, that's great. It is. Thank you. Anyone apply for it in our town? There have been. A teacher in town sends me the applications every day. And I call them back immediately. You knew that they apply? Or we ran into each other in the village today. I told him a little bit about the project. What were you doing there, Edgar? Honey, I didn't get to tell you. Uh, today, I went to Riza's to visit his sick daughter. That's when I saw Sebnam there. I wish you had told me. 
I didn't want to disturb you because it's sad, but I was going to tell you later. Okay then. So you saw each other in Riza's home then? Uh, yeah. <laughs> That's rather interesting, you two. It was a surprise for us too. Uh, <clears throat> uh, I'm thirsty. You want something to drink? Uh, with a kick to it? Sounds great. All right, then. Let's do it. Fayez, I'm going to leave. Where are you going? I don't know. You can't go. There's nowhere else for you. Out of my way! Forget that! Fayez, get out of my way! I said no! Get out of my way now! Elvan, stop it! Where are you gonna go? Just butt out! It's none of your business! Why are you asking? Why do you even care? Bye! Enough! Enough of this! Why this attitude? Why all this anger? The whole town looks the other way when they see me. Everyone's against me because of you. What can I do for you to forgive me, huh? Want me to kill myself? Is that what you want? If it would give you peace, Elvan, and take away your anger, then I'll kill myself and get rid of your misery. Fayez, you are doing nothing for me, but for yourself, only to relieve your conscience. If you hadn't thrown me out of the house that day, maybe none of this would have happened this way. Maybe I would have loved you in time. But what did you do? You threw me out because I was not a virgin. Elvan. But I regret that so much. Please give me a chance. I can make it up to you, I promise. It's too late, Fayez. You can't turn things around. You can't fix what's already broken. But I forgive you. You should forgive yourself too. As far as I'm concerned, your conscience is off the hook. Elvan, don't leave. So, what have you been up to lately, Nogme? I I'm not doing anything these days. Until recently, I was teaching piano to kids. So then you're a musician? Mm-hmm. You don't play anymore? Circumstances prevented me. I'm so sorry. It must be boring to be on that farm all day. A little, sometimes. But she will start teaching again. I bought a piano for Nagme. She will start teaching at the farm. That's so nice, Ejder. Don't you think that's a nice present? Totally. That's the perfect present for Nagme. Actually, I was thinking of doing something else. And what's that? Ejder has an atelier for soup and olive oil. I'm thinking about working with him there. But we had a little setback. Yes, I know. Ejder told me. Did you finally find a partner? Uh... We haven't... Setting up the atelier is so expensive. Nobody wants to invest so much money up front. I can't afford the costs alone, which is why I need to partner up with somebody. Actually, I think I can help you with this. How? We're currently recruiting the women, but the most important thing is that we find something that they can produce themselves. When Nagme said soup and olive oil, something came to my mind. Why don't the two of us work together? Yeah, but how do we do that? How can we find that much money to open it? We can take it from the fund. There's a fund under my responsibility. The European Union finances it. We can use the atelier for one thing and use their homes for another. This way, the women have what they need to start, and we can also save the atelier. <sighs> I swear, I don't know what to say. I've tried everything to save it. I began to lose my hope. This is amazing for me. As a foundation, we can set up a cooperative and make a partnership agreement with your company. <laughs> what an opportunity. <laughs> What do you think? Do you want to partner up with me?
So, what do you say, Ejder? I think it's perfect. After all this, Atelier must get up and running. As far as things look, the money can't be raised. Well, that's right. I think... So what then? Do you have concerns related to the project? No, that's not it. It... It's really a good idea. But, uh, there are people I need to consult before making such a decision. If I'm not being rude, can you give me some time to think about it? Okay, that's fine. But we don't have much time to waste. I'd like it if you'd make your decision as soon as possible. You got it. There's no place to go. Otherwise, I wouldn't stay here even one minute. But know this, sooner or later I will go. They won't leave you in peace while I'm here. It's what's best for you too. Hello? No, I'm not sleeping. What's that? Okay, I'm coming. I'll be there in a sec. What is it, Samal? A call at this hour? Nothing, nothing. You can go back to sleep. Now that you don't have a car, you can come with me. There's no need for that. I can hail a taxi. I really don't like driving, actually. Ah, oh, go easy on me. People will say he couldn't even take the girl home. Believe me, they wouldn't say that, don't worry. Nagme's the worst. She'd never let me live it down for a second. Fair enough, then. I accept your request to take me home. You fancy yourself quite the catch, don't you? Fish of the day, man. Okay, I'll tow the line. It's been a very nice evening. Thanks for everything. Thanks for joining us. You could have turned down our invite. Don't mention it. It was my pleasure. And I'll be waiting to hear from you, Ejder. Okay. I'll let you know as soon as I do. Sounds good. Good night to you. Good night, good night to, to you. you. Night, Hakan. Good night, Hakan. Keep in touch. I will. And I'll be waiting to hear from you, Edgedear. It's clear she's pushing my buttons. Dear, please calm down. But I can't. While she's blatantly trying to become a part of your life, I cannot calm down, okay? Not me. For crying out loud. She's trying to help us. Oh, so now she's the goodness angel? I know her intentions very well. You will tell her no. Excuse me? You will tell her no. Should have done this from the start, but you didn't. I've got no other choice. You see how much I'm trying to find money, but it's not there. Nobody wants to invest in something like this. I don't want you to work with that girl. She doesn't care about women. She just wants to be close to you. Oh, please calm down. Come on, let's get in the car. We'll talk later, okay? I've already calmed down.
What are you doing with this guy called Shavat? I'm not doing anything with him. But they saw you with him. Samal, you know I love you. But these are shady guys. They can also involve you in their works. The investigation is widening. You can also be harmed by the end of it. I advise you be careful. Once again, review the company's files. I'm talking with a fine tooth comb, you hear me? If they find something wrong with you again, even I can't save you this time. What kind of fire is this, not me? Even though, yes, there are flames, it all turns into ashes. What kind of wound is this that never heals? That in each of my cells, in each atom that spins, there is you, my love. You are not just next to me, you're also in my heart, in my soul. Beyond my life, you are like my spirit. You're so close to me as if I could touch you if I extend my hand. How can you be both so close and so far away from me too? I can't understand. I want to be like this with you always. <laughs> in your heart, in your mind. Then why, sweetheart? Hmm? Why are you so furious? Why is there this distance between us? Because I'm afraid. I'm afraid of losing you. I'm afraid that you'll think I'm not the right person for your life. But this will never happen, baby. If I had a thousand lifetimes, I would want to be with you in all my thousand lives. Not only this life. I'd want to pass through all of time with you. I know this. And if I didn't believe in you, I would never have married you. I wouldn't have accepted having to live here with you. Then what makes you so afraid? Everybody. Everybody except you thinks that I'm not suitable for you. You know what I'm saying is true. I'm so afraid that one day you will also think that way. I told you already, baby. I f fall in love with you again every morning. How could I ever give up on you? I just can't stop myself, Edgar. Some thoughts are making me so miserable, they prey on me. That day when Sebnan came over, the things your aunt said, the things your mother said, <laughs> looking at her. My darling, I don't care what others think, not a single word. You are my wife, sweetheart. You are mine. This will be so until the end of time. What happened? Where did you go so urgently? Don't worry about it. Don't worry. Go back to sleep. Ugh.
Samal? What's up? Is there something wrong? The police took Savat into custody. And? We'll see. <clears throat> We've done a small little job with him. Why would you be in trouble because of just a small little job with a guy anyway, though? Tell me, what kind of job was it? This Savat is a shady character, Sofika. Mr. Turgot wanted to talk to me to warn me. He said the police can investigate the company. The job already went bad, and now I have also this problem. Don't worry, don't worry. There's nothing to worry about. I don't think you'd be in trouble just because of a little job. Come on. Uh, forget it. Forget about it. I'll figure something out. Let's just go back to sleep. Come on, let's go to sleep. I should go and wash up. Yes, you do that. Oh. Ah, Ejder, ah. If you had married Sebnem, we wouldn't be in this situation. We would have united ours with my Uncle Kudrick's company for sure, and nobody would have stopped our success. I really must solve this problem. As soon as possible, I must solve this, yes. Good morning. <laughs> Good morning. Good morning, my beautiful <laughs> mother. <laughs> Good morning, son. Oh, there's a close friendship between you. May you both be blessed of the divine. Nagme is also coming. She is okay, right, son? No, no, mom, it's good. She's fine. She was just sleeping, and I didn't want to wake her up. My goodness, he didn't want to wake her up. He doesn't say we are at odds again. The honeymoon is over, so they've started to discuss as they say. Uh. Good morning. Oh. Good morning, dear. Sit down, dear. Come sit down. Have your breakfast. <sighs> Go on. My mother's made an appointment with the best gynecologist in Bursa. Today we'll hear the first heartbeats of our baby. Ay, ay, ay. You will see my grandchild? Mother, come on. How can they see it? It's as big as a nut. Was I, was I as small as a nut? You hush up and eat your egg. Oh, my dear, yes, you were as small as a nut, but now you're all grown up. And today, we're going to hear that nut's heartbeat. Mm, I'd sacrifice everything to hear the baby's first heartbeats. This woman's love for her grandchild is going to strangle me, I know it. <laughs> dear, look. This cream came from the village. And some honey. Now eat this. Bon appetit, my princess. Where are you going? I'm going to look for work. I think you should wait a little while longer. When will you come to the company? I don't know. Why? We have to deal with that land issue today, you know. What land issue is that? It's not important, Mom. Don't worry. What is it important? If we do not sell the lands now, the company will go bankrupt. Samal. Okay, then. Let's talk about it later. Alice, what are you saying? This isn't some children's game. I have found customers who are interested in the lands. They will give us the money we want, today. Today, this issue will finally be over. Are you too aware of what you're saying? Since when have we sold our lands when we're in trouble? 
It won't happen. Forget this ever happened. I won't allow him to sell the lands. What are we gonna do then, huh? Do you want the company to go bankrupt? The company won't go bankrupt. We, as in Sebnem and I, are working on a new project with the village. We will receive funds. Funds to make the atelier work. With Sebnem, you say? You're really going to become partners with our Sebnem? That's right. The project comes from Sebnem's. When I didn't find a partner, she involved me in the project. So you say we can save the company with the money that will come from there, huh? At least I'm taking action, Samal. That cool? Anyway, I gotta head out. See you later, dear. Well, I say bravo to that, Sebnem. The irony that she's rescuing us is not lost on me, you guys. Don't get ahead of yourself. You think that will work, do you? They'll do what I'm saying, believe me. You will see. <laughs>